Hey guys, it's Rhett from the 100 Acre Wood Highlands. Earlier this year we stocked our pond with a bunch of catfish and last year we put bass and hybrid bluegill and some other things in here and we've been trying to feed them but that has turned into a turtle problem in our pond. So today, we've got a new thing we're gonna check out to try to control some of the turtle population. Let's check it out. Intro reel, intro reel, do 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 do. 100 Acre Wood Highlands. That's my new thing. So earlier this week, I ordered a turtle trap from Pond King through Bass Pro and it came in the mail. So we're gonna check it out, see if it has to be assembled. Cows apparently are gonna take a swim. And then we were gonna see if we could try to catch some catfish, but between the dogs and the cows, I don't know if we will. Basically the turtle trap's got these floats that will attach to each side. And two of those. It's got two ramps that will affix to the side. One side's got an area where some fish can get, or some, excuse me, one side has some grips where some turtles can climb up it. The top side is smooth, that way they'll slide down into the trap. Box of hardware. And then of course, the cage itself. So, let's see if we can get it put together. Got something? All right. You okay? A little catfish. Rigger. Rigger. No. Go. Good job, babe. Got it? So we've been using some new catfish bait. We had tried hot dogs soaked in jello and garlic powder. We used stink bait. We tried some dead shad. But what we found has been working really, really good is actually canned corn. But today we're trying two new baits and is that your like second or third cast? Yeah, third. I already caught a catfish, so looking good. Nice and healthy one. So we'll let him go back in the pond and grow up to be a big one. All right. Teeth are a little bit sharper. Wow! Check out that guy. Looks like it came with some bolts, washers, things like that. Catalog of some other Pond King stuff. They really got some some neat things you can put inside your pond. Looks like our long bolts with some washers. both sides like that, a spacer, then attach it to the cage, so this spacer fits through there, this comes pre-drilled for you so we'll attach one of these to each side. We have our floats on now, now we're going to install the ramps. Okay, so we had the ramps installed, and the way these turtle traps work is that turtles like to sunbathe. So this one side of the ramp has got grip where they can walk up, and then when they get on top to sunbathe, they'll fall inside the cage. So a couple of things that the kit doesn't come with is you need a rope or a chain or something uh, fairly long that you can uh, retrieve this out of the water. You can drive a T-post. Uh, what I'm gonna do is try to attach it to this tree for now. This chain probably isn't as long as I would like it to be, but it's gonna work for the next few days. And then uh, periodically, you come back to check your trap, see if there's anything inside of it. And for us, we're probably gonna transport to the turtles to the complete other side of the farm on a different pond where we don't really fish. So let's see if I can get it secured. All right, so ideally, I'd like to have the trap out a little bit further, but that was all the, uh, the chain that I had. So between now and the first time that I check it, I'm gonna get some longer chain to put that out there, 
And also I'll probably get a brick or something heavy to weigh it down just a little bit so that those ramps are further down in the water. So now we're gonna get back to fishing. And in this area of the pond, we have been feeding our catfish with this floating catfish food. And when we throw it out, you can, you can wait a little bit and see all the catfish and the turtles just come up and gobble it up. So we've been trying all different kinds of catfish bait to see what works. And today we're trying out two new things. And I already caught one catfish off of this pink glob. Show them what one of them looks like. Pink little floating thing already caught one and it's specifically for carp and catfish so that's worked but I also found some crappie nibbles here and these crappie nibbles if you can see they're about the same shape and size as the floating catfish food so they're just a little bit different color and they're not meant for catfish at all but since we already know they like that floating catfish food I wanted to give this a shot So these hooks are way, way outsized for these tiny little baits, but that's the hooks we've been using with corn on there catching catfish. So let's see if this crappie bait works. So just sitting here, I can count about 12 or 13 turtles right out where we want to fish. So that's why we got the turtle trap. Oh. Come out of here to catch a catfish and you end up catching a bunch of turtles and losing your bait over and over again. Already gone. Is it really? Mm-hmm. Dang turtles. So I went up to the barn and I found some rope and a piece of brick. So I'm gonna pull this back in and see if I can toss it out just a little bit further and give it an extra slack and also weigh it down just a little bit so the turtles have an easier time crawling up. little boat or a kayak would be great for getting this out into the little bit deeper part of the pond but I'm just gonna have to try to throw it as far as I can which may not be very far Well, that's probably not any further, but I feel a little bit better about it. Yay, another Yay! little catfish. No big ones yet today, but the little strawberry flavored dough works. That's a cute one. Oh, hey. Hey there, catfish. He's still got spots on him. I wonder how old that thing is. That's the first time I've ever taken it off myself. Nice job. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Swimming up <out> there. <laughs> That's a good looking catfish. Great job, babe. So is that a two and oh? I still haven't caught a- Two and oh. So two and oh, I still haven't caught a fish, but I did shoot a snake. So that, that counts for something. Dog, I'm trying to fish, like, right there. 
The fact that he can actually like, leave. <laughs> Your dog. Are you having fun? Did you find any catfish? Nope. No catfish. Again? Really? Three in a row. Ruger. Ruger, get back. Nice one. All right. That's man. the one that's missing an eye. Ooh, is it? Get back. This one's the biggest one you caught so far today. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Nice. Great job, babe. Now we're three to zip. He's talking. <gasps> nice job, babe. <laughs> Catch and release. <laughs> Another one, babe. Nice one. That is a big one. Great job. Get back, dog. Wow. Good fish, babe. Ruger. Ruger, get back. Ruger doesn't like catfish. That is a good one. Do you have that pink thing on there again? Yeah. Well, great job, babe. That is a good fish. Look at that guy. Nice and fat. That thing's probably over two foot long. Look how scarred up it looks on its back. Do you see that? That is cool. Well, I'm glad I get to at least hold a catfish, even if you did catch it. So you skunked me today. You caught four catfish, one bass, five catfish and one bass, and I caught a little baby perch. But I did shoot a snake, so that counts for something. So guys, if you haven't already, check us out on Facebook. You can find us at 100 Acre, 100 Acre Wood Highland. Blip, 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 blip. So guys, if you haven't already, check us out on Facebook and Instagram by searching 100 Acre Wood Highlands. Please subscribe if you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below, and we'll be checking out this uh, turtle trap later on. See ya. That's a nice big catfish, babe. Great job. You really skunked me today. You ready to let him go? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if we can get him to take off. Here, hang on, let me get on that side. Nice. <laughs> Ruger wants to catch a fish. 